All right, welcome back. Next, let's add some navigation items, some links, so that we can actually get to the other routes, view our other content, without manually having to know exactly where to go. Horrible experience for a user to have to type that. So we're going to add some links up top. We won't worry too much about styling them. Let's just make a little nav. And I think I have a class already made called app nav in my CSS that I'm going to use. If it looks horrible, I'm sorry, <laughs> that's not the point. So if we use an anchor tag, which is what we would normally do, we'd set the href to be, let's say, slash dog, and then this would be dog, the inner HTML. And then we'd have another one for slash contact, for contact, and also we would have one more for about, which is just slash. And we can ignore the dog hater route for now. So here we go, we have our links, and if I click one of them, Watch what happens. It refreshes the entire page. Now we do actually see that content eventually. We are at the correct URL, but the way that we're ending up at this page is through a get request. The browser is refreshing the page. You can watch right there and it's reloading everything. And that defeats the whole purpose of client side routing. We wanna keep the user on this page and not have to send any get requests and just switch out what the user sees. Swap out those sets on the opera stage quickly so they don't really see what's happening. And they feel like it's happening very quickly. The user thinks that, you know, this is a new website or a new web page, but it's just content that's being shown and hidden. So instead of using an anchor tag, it's not what we're going to use. We're instead going to use the link component, which comes with React Router. So it is a replacement for anchor tags. Instead of an href attribute, we use a prop called to, T-O. And then clicking on one of those links does not actually issue a get request. So it just fakes it. JavaScript intercepts your click and then just does client side routing instead of sending a request. So we need to import link from React Router DOM and then replace all of these to be link tags. So link to is the important attribute slash, well, let's do just slash first for about and then I'll duplicate it for slash dog. And then the same thing for slash contact, just like that. So now we have three link tags and then three anchor tags. Technically these are components, link components. So these first three, if I click on dog, you'll see, well, we're already on dog, so that was dumb. If I click on about and then go back to dog, it's happening instantaneously. There is no refresh. If you watch up here, our URL is changing, but that's all happening on the client side. We're never actually refreshing the page or sending a request. Contrast that with what we have on the right side, the page reloads. So we're not taking advantage of our client side routing as much as we could. We're still using it because, for example, we're sending a request to slash contact. We refresh the page. The client side router is figuring out what to show based off of that URL but we're not staying totally in the sort of self-contained world of React and the client side, like we are with these three links. So link tags, we use them all the time. This is how you give your user a way to change the content to view another route.